Life turning pages, night turning day. I'm tired of waiting. I gotta make it. What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, and today we gotta talk about Colin Saxon because we gotta answer the question. Do we think Colin Sexton will return for the playoff? But before we get into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed to my channel, share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because with y'all, I know I can get there. And when y'all are done with that, I need you to hover over to that like button and smash that too so we can tell the YouTube algorithm to share this video with the world. And also, when you have the time, go to my Instagram, show me some love, and hit that follow if you want to keep up to date with notifications regarding my channel and all future videos but with all that being said though we got to talk about colin saxon and talk about the rumors of colin saxon returning to the cleveland cavaliers now three to four weeks ago they was talking about colin saxon may return but then <laughs> three to four weeks ago they was talking about colin saxon may not return to the cleveland cavaliers this season and um obviously you can see it's a contradiction because it is by the same uh people like these are Two different articles from the same website, same company that stated that Colin says it could return, but then they said Colin says it may not return. And I think the the situation why this is happening for a lot of different people is because people are not sure, right? Um, I do believe Colin Sexton would have not, like he would not have came back if we wasn't on the run to go to the playoff, right? But because the Cleveland Cavaliers exceeded expectations... I do think that opened the door for Colin Sexton to return, right? And I do think that has allowed Colin Sexton to have the probability of returning, like I said earlier, because depending on how far we go, right? Because if we go to the first round, I do think they might try to sneak Colin Sexton in there in a game three or four, right? But if the Cavs were to go to second round, I do think Colin Sexton very well could play that round. Or if we were to go to the conference finals, I do think Colin Sexton would definitely be in that round. I do think the door is open for Colin Sexton to play. I just do not think Kobe Allman is in a situation where he's going to rush it if it is not necessary, right? Because you got at the end of the day, you got to understand that Kobe Altman wants the best for the Cavs, right? And forcing players to play, I won't say forcing, but rushing players to play may not be in the best interest in the Cavs if it's not beneficial to the development of the team long term, right? Because Kobe Altman this season has made a lot of long-term decisions, right? And I do believe it has some type of meaning going forward. But what does this mean if Colin Saxon do not return this season based off of injuries? That means Kobe Altman and Colin Saxon is trying to be safe here because you got to understand Colin Saxon this offseason is going to renegotiate his deal, right? This is why we've heard that um, Colin Sexton has um, sought out a new agent, which is Clutch Sports, Rich Paul. And we know Clutch Sports and Rich Paul doesn't play around. They get stuff popping. As we've seen with Ben Simmons, uh, now he's on the Brooklyn Nets, right? He gets his players paid. He gets his player, Tristan, Trey Young, uh, LeBron, of course. You know, like, and it's countless numbers of names where Rich Paul has changed Certain players' financial and, uh, yeah, well, I'm just gonna say right for right now, has changed their financial goals, right? Changed their financial potential and changed their competitiveness. And change, well, when I when, when I mean competitiveness, changed the team they're located to give them a better opportunity to be competitive. You get what I'm saying? Um, which is why I do believe in this situation, this is no different. Um, I do believe if if he doesn't come back this season, um, Rich Paul is just trying to make sure that Colin Sexton has all of his options open. Now, if Colin Sexton do play this season, which I do think is a chance, I do think is a legitimate one, I do uh, think, a, let's say, 45% chance he could return, they, they're they trying to do that to avoid a situation very similar to Kyrie, where when Kyrie came back and his team had already went to the conference finals, they just didn't necessarily feel like they needed Kyrie, especially not with the drama, not with the situation. And I respect Kyrie because I do think... Um, I do think uh, platforms do try to kill Kyrie Irving, which I feel like is unnecessary. But I do feel like at that time, I do believe the Boston Celtics as a young gunning team, they just didn't feel like they needed Kyrie Irving, you know? Um, and because of that, they had to move on from Kyrie. Well, Kyrie knew he had to move on, honestly. Um, which is why I do think I can understand why Kobe Altman would try to push that, but he's not going to do it if it's risking Colin Sexton help because he truly cares for Colin Sexton. You can tell. Like, you can truly tell how much he's he's all in for Colin Sexton. 
Now let's talk about some stats, right? Because y'all know I like the stats, right? Especially when you put it in actual context, right? The the part that I've highlighted is his average amongst his seasons, right? This is what I think is the actual Colin Sexton stats, right? In my personal opinion, right? But the green little bracket I made is what I believe is the benchmark. I believe the 20.8 is his benchmark. This is the lowest I think Colin Sexton realistically does currently if he's healthy, right? But I do think the 24.3, that stat line right here, is what Colin Sexton is is his typical day. Like, this is what he would normally do on a day-to-day -day basis, right? But I do believe Colin Sexton as a high, I, I, I truly think Colin Sexton could be a 27 point per game score. Colin Sexton is just that special scoring, right? Which leads me to the topic at hand, the banner, right? Do we need Colin Sexton, right? And this might shock a lot of people, right? <laughs> this might shock a lot of people who has been watching me for a while. I think we need Colin Sexton more than ever. Um, as much as our system has developed, evolved, and I love it, right? Right now, we have the pieces to accommodate Colin Sexton currently. Will it be weird because of the amount of guards we have, the amount of um, players we have? Yes, absolutely. I'm not going away. I'm not backtracking from that. But I do believe right now, more than ever, we need a score, and Colin Sexton is a score. <laughs> This clip right here where we see in the Brooklyn Nets, Colin Sexton went on a rampage. This is the potential he has. That is the potential he has. We know that. I've always said that Colin Sexton is a very special scorer. I was just kind of skeptical on all the other things, especially um, his IQ on certain instances. But in terms of his scoring ability, we need Colin Sexton, right? Because we got the IQ guys. We got Rondo. We got Karis LeVert. We got Darius Garland. We got the guys, right? We got Kevin Love, who has be become a better passer, right? He's underrated passer, too, as a big. And I do truly think that we could use Colin Sexton right now, which is why I think um, I can understand Kobe Allman extending him. Will it be weird because we have a lot of questions regarding the roster? Absolutely. But I do believe Colin Sexton would be a better fit now than he would have been six months ago. And I, I think that unfortunately, well, not even unfortunately, I think that's weirdly because of Colin Sexton being injured, we was able to really develop a culture. So now if Colin Sexton were to come back, I actually think he would play better with this system, right? And I know like the stat line that says 16 point per game, you know, I do, I still think that was anomaly. Like as much as I criticized Colin Sexton back then, I do understand that was anomaly. Like, because every, every score in the league at that time was shooting bad, even Damian Lillard. So... After he gets adjusted, after he gets his win back, after he gets, you know, uh, his conditioning in, I do think Colin Sexton is going to be back to normal. And I do think with this system here, he's going to be better. Yes, he's going to have to pass a little bit better. Doesn't have to be a CP3 level passer. You know, you got to hear that. You got to emphasize that. But I do think Colin Sexton will be better in the system. I do think we need him. And I do think the pieces we have accumulated over uh, the past couple years has been to work Colin Sexton into this system. That's that Lennox with that money. That money.